Welcome back, everyone, to Hearts of Arm 4, China, Kaiserreich, Federalism, China Rework, whatever the fuck. And uh, this time we're gonna kill Sutran. Well, that's what we're gonna do definitely in the end, but first off, we're actually gonna take a look at, uh, well, uh, what's going on everywhere else. Because I haven't done that yet. I haven't lifted my eyes off of China. Uh, while we wait for 150 army experience before we invade Sichuan, so that we can take um, the army reforms uh, down here, which is going to be quite useful. Um, yeah. We'll integrate uh, Jiangxi or Fujian. I'm going to go with Fujian first. Uh, right, we also need to extend our, our infrastructure, our great reconstruction plan. So, American Civil War... Honestly, the Pacific states are looking pretty good, but it looks like uh, the American Union state has most divisions out of everyone, which is quite something. The United States itself actually has managed to hold on, and they still have Washington and New York City, so they may, they might... Uh, they might try to sort of res resurge from their... From their exile, it looks like they lost the Midwest first before losing the Northeast, so that was probably pretty good for them. Alright, we have created the National Protection Army, or National Defense Army, Guofang Jun. Uh, back in the day in China, everyone named their their armies in these like really, really pompous names. Um, but yeah, we're, we're gonna get to that later. Yeah, that's basically them. Then in Latin America, we have a bit of a war between Paraguay and Bolivia. Uh, I guess it gets like the Chaco War. It's just been going on for like forever. And in India, uh, the Beratia Commune and their Burmese allies are actually fighting with the Entente. Not exactly sure. Wait. Well, I, I suppose this is in this playlist. Yeah, I have my own. Uh... This is probably copyrighted, is it? Yeah, go away. Um, I have like, gotten my own playlist, quote-unquote, uh, because I was getting tired of, like, the Hearts of Iron uh, music, but I don't know, maybe, maybe I get, I'm gonna get tired of this playlist, which is just, like, a bunch of Chinese-sounding stuff from a bunch of games. Um, and weird uh, other things. Anyway, Baratia Commune somehow got into a war with the entire Entente, don't ask me how. Don't ask me how. Um, let's see if we can find this war. Oh, saw Burma. The Bratian Canadian War. Yeah, I don't know. Um, it doesn't actually let me see what war goal was used. Which is relatively sad. Bugged game XD, but I'm guessing like, see, the Baratia Commune doesn't really get. Wait, was Nepal part of this war? No, Nepal was a separate war. Then I have no clue, honestly. Anyway, uh, what the fuck? Is that a skull on top of this guy? Of course. Um, glorious Bhutan focus tree. So India's having that problem. Uh, Maklik is still trying to hold on, but getting destroyed. The Japanese seem to have been mostly stalled by Glorious, uh... Wait, Tohokai? Oh, they went to uh, Shova Restoration Kodoha faction. Okay. Okay, bro. Uh, for those of you who do not know, that's literally the worst possible. <laughs> Kodoha are basically... the, uh, Japanese version of fascism. That's even more extreme than what they did IRL. Uh, they had weird sort of pan-Asianist ideas and all these like uh, northern expansion ideas. So I guess it's kind of fitting that they're they're fighting up here. Um, so wait, do they have Sadao Araki as like the... Yeah, of course, Araki Sadao as the head of government. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, Araki Sado, in case you do not know, he is the guy that basically started the whole Mukten incident in 1941. 
and he was a pretty important political figure in like the Japanese far right leading up to World War II, although at one point he he like tried some coup and got destroyed, I don't know, I don't exactly remember uh, the entire history because it's so complex and I read it like two or three years ago and I've already forgotten like half the details. Anyway, Spanish Civil War is going to be won by the Kingdom of Spain, most likely. Um, Commune of France has gone Jacobin, but they haven't had like the crazy um, purge yet. I, I don't... Principe de concentration. That sounds pretty cool. <laughs> Mass conscription. Love it. Support the Soviets. International Vanguard. Yeah, I don't know. They, they don't seem to have taken um, whatever focus generally, uh, or focus, maybe it's an event, allows them to do a purge where, like, after they do a purge of the army as the Jacobin, they get, like, an army revolt, and at that point, the, the, the French Republic declares war. Is that Pétain being a market liberal? Interesting. And that leads to the international losing every single time. But I don't know. Um, a little bit less of a radical um, leadership in Union of Britain and Italy. German Empire, ooh. They went, um, they went authoritarian Democrat. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, and the Austrians are, as always, being insanely strong. And they got into a war with the Belgrade Pact some way, somehow, and so the Belgrade Pact is not going to be destroyed. Uh, the Romanians have already fallen. Bulgaria is <laughs> not too happy about the situation because they're going to get cucked out, essentially, of the rest of the uh, of their own territory that is going to go to probably, like, the puppets that are going to be spit out of um, these places. Oh, man. Still 147. Still 147 army XP. Sad. Sad, sad, sad state of affairs. It's alright. It's alright. You're gonna start. Wait. Oh, okay, no, never mind. I'm like, did he put all of his forces somewhere else? No, it's actually just... I had taken off uh, this thing. Ooh, pretty good music for this. I'm gonna wait for my guys to be fully organized and then go for Chongqing. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Slow down there, buddy. Tan Viet. Totalist. Pham Van Dong. Break the chains. So he went vanguardist in his uh, National Assembly. Interesting. <laughs> He's the heavy industry cult. Okay, so democratic centralism. Right, he must have taken... Oh, wait. An international... See, I thought that the rising dragon was the thing that allowed him to cooperate with Siam. Beyond into China. Commit to the Chinese Revolution. <laughs> oh, commit to the Chinese Revolution. Comrade and brother. Oh, wow. That's awesome. He can make a faction there. Uh, join the East Syndicalist faction. He could do that if he was at peace, because the East Syndicalist faction does exist. See, like, yeah, the Stabilized Sam, how, how exactly did a war break out between these two without him doing that? I have no clue. And is Sam part of the Co-Prosperity? No, they're not part of the Co-Prosperities. So, like, maybe Indochina has a chance to actually succeed. Which would be quite good, because having no co-prosperity sphere on our southern flank would be quite good. Anyway, let's call in our allies and go for the Sichuanese. Yeah. The industrial army shall have to fall before the, well, also pretty industrial army of Canton. Alright, pop in the force attacks. Oh 
And let's see where we can break through. Okay, definitely here. Let's see if we can uh, get to Chongqing. Like, just straight off the bat. That would be quite the blow for them, because I think that that would be most of their industry. Oh, there are troops there. Okay. Got more mountaineers. Okay, can you win there? That's a pretty big question. No. So, what we're gonna do instead is... Attack into here. And hope that we can get an encirclement. Ooh, look at this. How many divisions? One division. It's a cavalry division, too. If we get our mountaineers in there, that should be pretty good. All right. Uh, unfortunately, we do not have any airfields out here that can reach Sutran. Otherwise, we'd be able to use our air force. Sad. Sad business. Alright, boyo. Come on. Kill him fast. Before he can get too many reinforcements. Serbia has capitulated. Wang Ling Ji. That guy looks cool. Whoa. Why did I see the Commune of France taking states? No, it was just Austria. <laughs> Austria taking a million trillion gajillion bits of land, as usual. Well, that's annoying. Oh, but he's moving. Man, he's gonna take seven days to move? Oh, Jesus, this is gonna be long. <laughs> As always with these mountain hell holes. This is still the obvious place to attack. Although, to be fair, if I... If I have my... Uh, if I have my better troops where they're not taking a river crossing penalty, that's gonna be definitely better. Alright. Uh, ooh, now we have 150. Let's take that army reform. We also have extra political power, with which we shall integrate Zhejiang province. Definitely important. Business for us. How many losses? We've taken 8,000. We actually dealt 14,000, which was surprising. Although, to be fair, <laughs> industrial planning committee. Uh, to be fair, there is absolutely no reason to like kill Sutranese because there is probably more Sutranese than, uh, than, than like people we have in our own domain. So, yeah, that is unfortunate. There's a lot of Sichuanese. A lot of them. Of course. Socialist Republic of Italy declared war on the two Sicilies. Wait. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say, how long is it gonna take for him to get skilled staffer, but apparently not that long. Oh. 
Man, can he, like, decide on a place to move and leave the province? Jesus Christ. Eh, maybe we could just take Chongqing, honestly. At this point, he's only got a militia in here. Which makes an assault pretty doable. Especially if we use free divisions. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty fast. Another three days of battle. Great. And... Let's see what we can do. Great! Yeah, Chongqing is ours. Amazing. And that was five military factories and two... They have zero military factories. That is pretty... That is pretty crippling. Now they're down to their existing stocks of weapons. Obviously quite good. And they've also lost most of their... Uh, of their capitulation problem. The Kaisar Hind. Okay. So, Indian Empire. Hmm. That is very interesting. Because he's already, like, kind of federalized. I don't think he's gonna be... Um... Oh, remove national spirit, decentralized rule. Okay, um... He might get, like, a war, then. So pretentious. <laughs> yeah, these emperors, always very pretentious. Um, so, what should we take? The massive literacy or the professional training school? Now, professional training is going to give us minus 0.05 political power, plus 5% production efficiency base. The production efficiency base is nice. It's really good. But the extra stability probably is pretty good, too. Because we're at 40% stability. And that also gives us production efficiency cap, which is like basically the same thing. And 0 0.05 uh, political power isn't really all that important. And Chen Yuming was like incredibly um, obsessed with um, providing good education as well. So it is hashtag role playing. Give me militia and Chongqing. Now, I do want to eventually transition into, um, into having um, an army entirely made up of, like, non-Guangdong uh, non, uh, troops, non-federal troops. <laughs> so that, you know, this army can just stay with the pure, glorious... Uh, your glorious armies. Okay, wait a second. Huh. We apparently used up all of our... All of our research bonuses for doctrines. Quite insane. Can we get any others? No, not really. At least not until we get uh, the actual Federalist focus tree. But that's not around yet. So, that's fine. The Hellenic Socialist Republic has declared war on the Kingdom of Greece. Wait, weren't they... Oh. <laughs> okay. He has revolted against the Austrian puppet. Very interesting. Ki 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 Jesus Christ. I'm sad. Oh yeah, he he's screwed. <laughs> he is so screwed. That's sad, honestly. That's really sad for him. Because uh, the Donau Adrebund had basically destroyed Greece's normal army, so he actually had a chance of winning. But, uh, yeah. So, fucking big Donau Adrebund yet again. Oh my god. Is that the French Space Marines? And the Australasians? The Labour Party! John J. Kern. 
the traitor to the international. Oh, all right. Good. That's unfortunately only two divisions, but it's better than nothing, obviously. Yo, brother. Excellent. Woman Sha, or Woman Shang, as someone said that thing is. Oh, and also, someone um, told me to send an attache to Russia so that we get uh, constant uh, army experience, and that's probably a pretty good idea, although I don't have the political power. So I will not do that yet. I will instead focus on integrating provinces, because, yeah, you know. They, they be Chinese provinces. Of course, our finest hour. Excellent! Uh, All right, we are gonna go for Chengdu next, because that's probably the rest of their non-existent industry. And um, honestly, if we take Chengdu, we should be very, very close to actually just defeating them outright. The, without having to fight like the entire rest of their army off in random places. So that would be quite good. Very good. Is that the end? No, it isn't the end. But maybe Ya'an or Ya'en is. And if not, Daxian always exists. Excellent. So, let us use these Mountaineer guys to come in and finish them off. Because if we take these two VPs, we should be in a honestly pretty strong spot. What decisions can we actually take? Oh, right, the Navy stuff. Not needed yet. Now, who should we go after next? Once we're at peace, I think we can retake some of these decisions. Oh no, the Northwest conflict seems to or need, needs to have ended. There we go. The man, the Sushan clicks surrender. Take all states. Yes. Excellent. Hmm. Can we even save the Maz at this point? Probably gonna be quite difficult. How many volunteers can we send? Still only one. God damn it. Now we can also ultimatum Tibet once the Northwest conflict has ended. And then there's gonna be the whole uh, Jiang Zulin and Beijing government affair. But that's gonna have to wait for these two to have, you know, killed each other. And honestly, I think that first, we are gonna have taken down the Beijing government itself. But anyway, now's the time to sort of reorganize, essentially. And wow, we actually have a stockpile of guns. Amazing. It's time to train up more guys. Oh, I already had. Guys training up. Hmm. Mass literacy campaign. We just need Beijing and the Federalist model province now to take the new China and switch to the national focus stream. So that's quite good. That's quite good. Form local culture. Yeah, give, give me the extra stability. Alright. 
So, I suppose... This is a pretty good time to end this. There goes the Union of Burma. Yeah. Ooh, we could ride. We could just uh, send our guys down here and continue aiding the Indo-Chinese. I don't think the Indo-Chinese are gonna come in and try to kill us. And the more problems they can cause everyone else, the better it's gonna be, so... Yeah. Sounds like the Indo-Chinese are in the... in the market for some volunteers. But other than that, that's gonna be a whole ordeal for next time. So... I do want to thank you all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you soon. Have a good day. And all those nice things.